The most important part of any Minecraft server is its map. This statement is especially true on Anarchy servers, as on these servers there is only one map has been visited by hundreds of thousands of players over years and years. There are ruins, monuments, bases. However, the map is not accessible to the players. You're limited to seeing just a tiny sliver of it at a time, that being the render distance. Unfortunately, the render distance is set on the server, and thus you simply cannot see chunks past that, no matter your in-game render distance. This has led to players downloading chunks by flying over them on a server and using a mod to automatically save the chunks received onto a local world. This way, you can load in as many chunks as your computer can handle without any network lag, additionally saving a bit of the world as history, just like we do on the archive. But what if you would take this to the extremes and download a really big part of the world? Well, that is exactly what Ginger has done. Welcome to the 150k world download project, a full 150,000 by 150,000 world download of the 9090 spawn region. The project has been completed and is now fully public, meaning you can visit any location up to 75,000 blocks in any direction with a simple slash TP. The inspiration for the project came from the 256k 2b2t world download that was accomplished by multiple people in February. Previously, the largest 9 world downloads were Endercool's 10k downloads, which he takes every month in order to make a render of the spawn region. Ginger decided to map only 150k instead of 2b2t's 256k for 9b9t6ya. This, however, was quickly cancelled due to JJ, the server's admin, announcing the 6ya building competition. The world download was put on hold. The project would resume some time after, around the end of July 2022, by which point Ginger had already downloaded 64k in each direction. Painstakingly downloading everything in rings, Jinja was able to finally finish the world download on the 19th of August. This world download has brought a lot of data about the server. Jinja has posted things like time lapses, the world download itself of course, but there are also dynamic web overviews for the map, signs, new chunks and even renders of the entire world. This is a data miner's dream come true. If anyone wants to take a look at those, all the links will be in the description. If you ever see anyone saying finding a stash is not possible, even within this relatively close to spawn region, Ginger has managed to find over 300 dubs worth of duped items. There were also plans to put this world download onto the Rose archive, but unfortunately we do not have enough storage for the world on our server, and buying enough with our current provider would cost a fortune. I would also like to relay the special thanks to these people for helping Ginger accomplish this project and have it up to such a good standard. Lamp, Endercool, Mruchek, Korono, Hamburger2k, Negative Entropy, YQE and The Pork Chop. As mentioned previously, I encourage you to check out all the data, renders and visualizations that Ginger has published on his Reddit post. Link will be in the description. You can download the world save from Google Drive, keep in mind it's around 400 gigabytes decompressed, and fly around the world admiring the server's peculiar beauty. You can also visit Stonenberg in mere moments, you know. If you have a keen eye, you might have noticed that the world download used for the cinematics in here is not the Ginger's one. If you have, congratulations. There are two reasons for that. First, it's 400 gigabytes. Second, Google Drive is unreliable as fuck and has stopped downloading in the middle like at least three times, so I gave up. Maybe someone can set up a torrent or use a better hosting. But that would be it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.